Hello. Are we live? Is this thing on? <laughs> Y'all, I've had a fucky day. I have had an annoying, an annoying day. Oh, it's just one thing after the other. Oh, God. With me, like, if you piss me off, or if life in general, if things piss me off, like, I, the first thing, it's like, okay, that's annoying. And then the next thing happens, it's like, okay, that's that's a little bit aggravating. And then the third thing, I, I, I just get so infuriated. But then stuff keeps happening, and then eventually I just get to a point where I just have to laugh. I'm just like, of course, of course, that's, the, you know, of course that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of those days. It's one of those days. Um, in the grand, I, I just get in the grand scheme of things, it's probably not a big deal. But um, trauma dumping. <laughs> oh my god. Trauma dumping. Oh my god, I am dead at that. Whoo! <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess I was a little bit. I guess I was a little bit. Ugh. Where'd my water go? Now I don't know where my water is. It ran away. <sighs> Mental things is hard. And our. Oh, here the air is. Alright, we're back on track. <sighs> All right. So we didn't do foodie booty yesterday. So we're going to do her today. Yesterday was World of Warcraft night. Um, typically don't do lives on Tuesdays. We are going to take a look at everything that's been going on with her. She has been forced back to Canada um, I am under the under I am under the impression that she did not want to come back or she was trying to do the whole visa renewal thing again and it did not go through because there are some new type of laws out there being put into place that prohibits people from just staying in a country indefinitely on a tourist visa. So we can go ahead and take a look at um, her live streams. I would love a condensed version. Did Piggy put up anything? Piggy put up something. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to raw dog it or do we want or do we want to watch Piggy? I mean, Piggy's video is only eight minutes long, and there's a lot to get through. And then she put up one today: Jamaican chicken patties lunch. But I want to do the original stuff before we get into the more up-to-date stuff. Hi, disordered personality. Did I miss Tr Jordy trauma dumping? You did. You did. You didn't miss much, though. Gotta pay us the therapist's salary. Should I give you all bits? Should I go to your Twitch channels and give you bits? I could do that. How about one piggy video then raw? Well, the thing is, if we watch the piggy video first, we'll get a lot of the information that we would otherwise see in this video. Maybe we can skip through. Like if it gets boring, just move along. Move along, move along like I know you do. And even when your hope is gone. Hi, CC Viz. The best stream is the first one. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll hop on into this. I'd imagine she doesn't get talking right away. Oh my gosh, it's too fast. Hi, everyone. I'm kind of nervous and overwhelmed, so. And I have to let a little chin free. I can't. I feel claustrophobic. <sighs> <laughs> Oh my god. 
Well, maybe you shouldn't be driving a sedan if you feel claustrophobic easily. Hi! I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm gone seven days, and my, or eight days, or however many days. And my life has, like, changed so much that I don't even know where to start. I have so many stories I wanted to tell you guys. I'm like, when something happens in my life, I'm like, I have to tell them this. Like, being away made me realize, like, you guys are my support system. Hi, everybody! <laughs> oh, that's unhealthy. <laughs> Welcome, Salam. Hello, everybody. Well, can you all be my support system then? If I want to come on here and trauma dump a little bit, would you all be my support system? If Sean Tall can do it, why can't I do it? Why can't I come onto the internet and burden you with all of my problems? Huh? You know? <laughs> it's giving Eugenia needing TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> apparently eugenia's shadow banned now i know the other day she's talking about oh yeah i'm gonna get my account back soon no big deal uh this should all be fixed up she got shadow banned <laughs> oh god we are here for you jordy thank you cc wow one of the things that happened today, I actually did trauma dump in a vlog that is going to go up on my other channel probably tomorrow morning. So if y'all want to know what has me all riled up, you can go ahead and watch that video tomorrow. Do you see what I did there? I turned my trauma dumping into an incentive for you to go and watch one of my videos so that I make more money. Did you see what I did there? I turned my troubles and my sadness and my stress into a way to make money. Do you see what he, you, do you see, you catch on to that? Guys, I'm so mad. Go and watch this video detailing why I'm mad. <laughs> he, he's, he's a crafty one. You got to keep your eye on him. What's a shadow ban? A shadow ban is like, your account is still active. It just doesn't show up anywhere. Like it doesn't show up on the For You page. It, just, it doesn't show up in Recommended. If you search for someone's account, sometimes it doesn't even come up. Like the only way to interact with someone is like are, if you're like already following them or if you go to the exact URL. So it makes it very difficult to find their profile. So she basically, like, doesn't get any interactions unless it's from people that already follow her. She got shadow banned on Instagram as well. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. With, with shit that's hitting the fan and, like, influencing kids and stuff, they don't want that lawsuit on their hands. So what if Eugenia makes them a boatload of money every month? It would pale in comparison to a lawsuit later on. They don't want her. They don't want her. Um, short shorts. Thank you so much for the super chat. Jordy tax paid. <laughs> the Jordy tax. <laughs> I'm like the troll under the bridge asking you for money. <laughs> uh, when you look her up on TikTok. Tip top. Oh my god. When you look her up on TikTok, it shows you an ED helpline. <gasps> oh shit. So if you go let me tr let me try that actually. You know, I, well, well I follow Eugenia on TikTok, so maybe that won't come up for me. Let me let me try though. Let me try though. Eugenia. Oh my god. I keep spelling it with a W. Eugenia Cooney. Well, I already follow her, so it comes up. But I'm oh, I'm seeing other people post it. If you don't follow Eugenia on TikTok and you go to search her name, National Alliance for ED. What does that say? You're not alone. If you or someone is having a hard time, help is available. View resources. Oh shit. 
So if you go to search her name, a help crisis line comes up instead of her username. It's not looking good for Miss Cooney. It's not looking good for Miss Cooney thinking that she's going to get her monetization back. No, it's not. But um, that's enough of a sidebar. I'm done bitching. I'm done, dra I'm done trauma dumping. Um, Eugenia Cooney's shadow band. Maybe we'll talk about that later on. But for now, I want to listen to Foodie Beauty talk in her car about her marriage. I need to let a little bit of my gen out. Well, yeah, I'm in the Kia. No, so I'll let me take the... It doesn't... Does the Kia look like... No, it's not white. Hi! Hi, everybody! I missed so many people to say hi, so I'm just going to say a collective hi. I am literally jet-lagged. I know people laugh and use that as, like, a, a euphemism for being high. No. Holy crap, that's creepy. I'm just, like, literally so tired, and my body is so battered from this trip. I am going nuts. I don't like flying. Um, there was a point where I, I mean, I know that this is going to pale in comparison to some flights. This doesn't even sound bad, but like when I lived in Arizona and I was flying to Phoenix uh, from Pittsburgh back and forth like that, I mean, it was like a four something hour flight. I don't like it. I don't like sitting in that cramped little chair upright, not being able to get comfortable. I'm not even that tall. I'm only five foot 10. Like I can't imagine for people that are actually tall. I feel like my knees go up to that little um, tray table in front of you. It's just, I don't like flying for long periods of time. Hour and a half, two hours, whatever. But I mean, any flight that's like over four hours, like it's just like, so I couldn't imagine doing what would she say it was 17 hours? Oh hell no. Hell no. I you know what I would need? I would need one of those like upgraded chairs like where you have like more uh room for your knees or whatever. And um or like maybe like one of those things where you can lay down. <laughs> Oh, God. I love flying, but not more than five or six hours. It's just... Uh, I don't know. Just get first class, Jordy? Well, I mean... On, on the airline that I um, was flying Southwest, they don't even have that option. I mean, I, I wouldn't pay out the ass to do a little, you know, four and a half hour flight first class. I think that that's a waste of money personally, but, you know, my husband's six, four and has to have an aisle seat. I, I'm five ten, and I feel like I have to have an aisle seat. I couldn't imagine people over six foot. That's Christ. Um, PK200X, thanks for the bits. Prison Becky, thank you so much for the super chat. Trauma dump, complain, caterwaul, crow, moo. I'm all here for it. <laughs> crow and moo. <laughs> well, I do get into a little bit more of why I'm pissy right now into my vlog. It'll go up on my other channel tomorrow if y'all are interested. But, uh, yeah, just get first class. <laughs> like the little like limp wrist thing. Yeah, just get first class. <laughs> it's like triple the cost. Yeah, have new glasses. So, you know, I did the prescription. So he went and got glasses for me. I missed like all everybody. Hey, Mary. Hi. Okay. Um, I have so much to talk about. House bees. Hexy, I know. Okay, so, am I in a private spot? All right, you were so worried. Well, let me tell you what happened. So, thank you guys, everybody, who did I miss? I missed a lot of, I think I missed some beezers here. My nose is dry. Hi! Thanks guys for, uh, it's going so fast. Joey, um, Ghostface. Uh, I get nervous. Like, is this your property? People driving by? Anyway, they come and say, 
you know? Yeah, this is a new dress. Like, the minute I decided to come back to Canada, is okay. So, I got a strike on my channel. And, uh, at first I was like, what the F? You know, I was like pissed off. I was like, I have a strike on my, Rosemary. Hi, Marbles. Kayla. Trixie. <laughs> Loyalty bees are thing. Okay, so she's admitting to getting the one week strike. That's why she wasn't able to upload or go live for a week. Um, if y'all don't know anything about this, basically Chantal made this arbitrary community page post making fun of some woman. I believe that she is a frequent uh, chatter in FFG streams. Her name is Kalari. Kalari? Kalari. Kalari. And um, Chantal just like, I, I don't exactly know what Kalari said about her or whatever, but... Um, Chantal took it upon herself to make a community page post making fun of this woman's teeth. Just a whole bunch of, like, little nasty comments and everything. So they took down the post. Well, she took down the post. But uh, they gave her, like, a seven-day suspension. Like, not able to upload, not able to monetize, not able to make money. So, I mean, I guess, hey, was it worth it, Chantal? Was making fun of some random woman's teeth worth not making money for a week? I hope it was. Thank you. Ready, start, rebees. <laughs> okay, sorry, I have to concentrate. Sorry. Hi, Carolina. Never have I ever Paul freed everybody. Normally, Mimi, Shelly, I know. Okay, listen. <laughs> so basically, um, and I was like, what? What? You know? But then, like, I saw like the post that I made. Like, I deleted it, but it's about the. Po it was for the post that. Thanks, mistress, Georgia girl, that I made about that Kalani lady. So at first, I was mad, and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter, like, because I was responding to, I was triggered, as usual, but that's my problem to be triggered. But anyway, I was triggered because I saw parts of a video on Yo Mama's live stream about her, and she was, like, you know, calling me a heifer, and that my husband wouldn't touch me. So I, you know, said... What exactly does the word heifer mean? I have always... I have always, like, if I... Heifer just means fat, right? Define heifer. Heifers are female cows who have not yet given birth to a Oh my god. Wait, do they call her this because she can't give birth? <laughs> oh, that's mean. <laughs> I thought that heifer just meant fat. <laughs> that's not nice. Female cows who have not yet given birth. Since then, it took on meaning of a female who is obese. Okay. <laughs> That's bad. That's mean. I mean, I, I know some people call her like the like the bald barren bigot sometimes and all that stuff, but, um, did like I I just when I think of that word, I always just think of like fat. Okay. Heifers are female cows who have not yet... Okay. That's bad. Infertility shaming. It's a female... It's a female cow who hasn't been bred. Okay. Um... Bubbles, thank you for the super chat. Jordy, I have to know, are you Alliance or Horde and what level? I'm 27. Troll Shaman. Hardcore. Um, are you doing self-found mode? I saw that that came out recently. Um, I play both. I'm I'm Horde and Alliance. Uh, I mainly play Shamans and Druids and Paladins. Those are like my three mains. Uh, but have fun. Oh my god, don't die. Wishing you luck. Or in replacement on the B word. To be fair, I've heard Southern people use the word heifer to mean people that they're friends with. I've never heard it in that context. I've never heard of, like, uh, if you're saying, like, your buddy or your pal or your friend or whatever. Oh, that's my heifer. Never heard that. Never heard that. But I'm not from the South, so, you know, maybe that's why. 
Hi, Hangry Sloth. Sometimes it's used jokingly, sometimes it's used derogatorily. I mean, the definition is a cow that has not given birth. So. All right. Some nasty things back. So, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I got caught for it. I think it's weird that, you know, that YouTube doesn't, you know, keep the same energy for some other channels that swear and all that. But what I said was really nasty. So, you know what? I'm like, fine. I, what I did was wrong. I'll take the hit. I'll take the L. And... You know what? I think it's a sign from God or from whatever, the universe, whatever you want to believe, that I needed that break. Like, this break has been amazing for me. And I know that's going to annoy you. Her making fun of some woman's teeth and getting a seven-day suspension from work is a sign from God. Like, she just, like, I know that, like, she makes a mockery of religion doing this and everything, but, like, what does that even mean? Me making fun of some woman getting taken down for bullying for a week was a sign from God. And it's going to make people mad, but it was so amazing. But yeah, I just want to sit and chat here for a while. You thought I fell into the drain. So anyways, basically the 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 break was awesome, you know? So yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what? I was nasty. Like, doesn't matter if I'm being nasty back, whatever. I'm like, I'm the, my point is, like, I need to just ignore these people and really just bees. Focus on beesing, focus on... And I missed you guys so much. Like, you guys are my support system. I realize that in a lot of ways. Like, I have to just try to make it in a healthy, in a healthy way. Like, um... So yeah, I have to be positive because you know what? YouTube is a popularity contest. A lot of people don't like me. So any little way they can, obviously they're going to report me, right? Especially if I do something that um, goes against terms of service. And if I get caught, that's like, is it worth risking my entire channel for going after every little, like people who are saying like that I'm a pig, you know, like, no, I needed to check my behavior. It's like ruining my mental health, everything. So basically this, this break. Oh, so she's the victim now. So the more popular you are, the less you're getting reported, which means the less of a chance there is that your account would be issued some type of punishment. I don't think that that's true. I think that if you break the rules, it gets reported and reviewed. Um, something will be done about it. I think that it's kind of like a case-by-case -case basis. I would imagine, I would imagine that YouTube views our community a little bit differently than other accounts. Like, they understand that we're always coming for one another, that we're a drama community, that we're always calling each other names and whatever. We're always making criticism about each other. So I think that, you know, if you're being reported, it's like, oh, I don't like this person. Like, YouTube talks just be like, okay, well, we're going to take them down just because, like, you guys are in a little spat. Okay, you guys are always in a spat. That's kind of your thing. That's kind of the theme of your channel is to be drama ridden. But if you do something and it breaks the rules, I mean, the only other time that I remember someone getting a suspension similar to what she's describing right now is Sinatra. Sinatra got a suspension, or you know what? I think that he got an indefinite suspension. He got an indefinite suspension for a thumbnail that he made one time, because this was like very early in on Girl World days, um, when he and Mrs. Sinatra would do the, like, I think it was Saturday night or Sunday night live streams of the Amber Lynn stuff. They would uh, come on here and they would talk about Amber Lynn and stuff. And like, I was really new. And they made a thumbnail one time, zoomed in on Amber Lynn's ankle, and for some reason, that got him demonetized indefinitely. So, I mean, it, it, I, I'm not exactly sure, like, where the line is crossed or what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say, but clearly... Chantal did something in this scenario that ruffled YouTube's feathers and wanted to be issued a strike. So, I mean, 
I don't think that I, I don't think that she's right in saying that it's a popularity contest. Oh well, everyone likes so and so more, so obviously they're not going to get. I, I don't think that that's how YouTube views it. If you break the rules, you break the rules. Now, hi Solder Bell, girl immunity. I know, it's like we're playing Survivor or something. It's like, oh, this week FFG has immunity so she can say whatever the fuck she wants on YouTube. Like, that's not how it works. Like, you don't win a challenge and get immunity for the week so you can't get voted off. Like, this, <laughs> this is stupid. Amy Drury, thank you so much for that. You know that she's higher than Alicia's grocery tab. <laughs> oh, I'd imagine one of the first things she did when she got back to Canada was go and get baked. Um... I mean, that's exactly what she did last time. When was she hit back here? Like the first week of January, December? I mean, I know that she was here in December. I don't remember when she left exactly. That's when the whole poop stuff happened with Kybella. So, yeah. And I mean, she admitted to it. I don't think that this is a secret anymore. For a while, she would say, no, I'm not smoking. I'm not smoking. Like joint in hand. I'm not smoking. Now I think she owns it. I think that she's baked now. Probably. Little Rex, thanks for the bits. You thought I was five foot five? <laughs> oh God, nope. Break was amazing. And I made a very big decision to um, move back to, to Canada. And honestly, if I had my way and I was rich, I would probably bounce back and forth all the time. No, you're not, you know what, I wouldn't. This journey, <laughs> let me tell you this, one of the stories, okay? I want to tell you one of the stories of the horrors of being on the plane this time. All right, so normally, sorry, I'm just getting this out and I'll talk to you guys and save your questions if you want to, but I normally fly with Qatar Airways or Emirates. I, I know I'm like, I only fly with Qatar. No, but there's a reason. All right, this time I decided, you know what? Okay, if I go with Qatar or Emirates, I'm on the plane for 13 hours straight because the transfer is only an hour of flight in Qatar. Kuwait to Qatar, then 13 hours, Canada, Montreal. But if I try a different route where Lufthansa, which is a German airline, I booked, I, I, so I, I went from Kuwait to Frankfurt on Lufthansa. Then I had an almost three hour layover in Frankfurt. And then I had to, hi guys, <laughs> um, not flare, <laughs> Air Canada. But they were both Airbus A330s, which, you know, they're not the Boeing Max. <laughs> I was just happy about that. So then um, basically I thought, okay, I'm going to break it in half. It's not as bad. My body won't be as bad. Or, oh, I didn't like Lufthansa. Oh my gosh. It's not terrible. Okay. But like I found the staff was not that friendly. They were more snappy. Um, the food was, okay, here's the food. Okay. So on the first flight, they gave me, they give you a sandwich. It's like this long. Okay. Nikki, move back permanently. Sell off, sell off following you. Okay. Hi, Lee, Lee, Lee. I'll tell you guys in just one second. Okay. And then I'll check the comments. I have to get this out. <laughs> so. Okay. So she's critiquing her trip because of the quality of the sandwich that they gave her. This, this is why we're complaining. This is why the flight was bad. <laughs> they forgot my extra ranch for my sub. I hate fly Emirates now. Yeah, Qatar is super nice. Um, basically, um, what was I gonna say? They give you a sandwich, and it's their vegetarian sandwich. A vegetarian sandwich? Oh well, there you go. No, you don't try to give her a vegetarian sandwich. You kidding me? <laughs> so this is why she hated her flight. <laughs> they tried to give me a vegetarian sandwich. What the fuck? I'm never flying this airline ever again. <laughs> Oh my god. PK, thank you for the bits. No, no, it has nothing to do with Bath and Body Works. And so I'm like, okay, like literally that's how the attendant talked. A vegetarian sandwich. So I took it and um it had cream cheese, okay? The cream cheese, I don't know, mess with my gut. So that's digesting. By the time I get to the second leg of my, you know, the Air Canada, I'm like, please don't let anyone sit beside me. Please don't let anyone sit beside me. And uh and I, like, I was literally praying, like, please don't let anyone sit beside me, Allah, please. Well, this guy... Yeah, I'm sure that that's what God wants to hear, Chantal. So, right after God gave you a seven-day suspension, 
God was listening to your prayer of not wanting another of you not wanting someone to sit next to you so that you could have two seats. <laughs> Comes bouncing down the, wa- the 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 walkway, sits right beside me, and he's listening to super loud music, like dance hall music. I don't know if you know what dance hall is. I'm so sure someone is. Anyway, he sits down, and. Okay, whatever. I slept most of the flight. He ordered wine. You get like complimentary little bottles of wine on Air Canada. He ordered wine and he spilt red wine on my clothes twice. So I smelled like a bottle of booze. I have to let up some chin. Sorry. Well, were you like encroached into his area? I mean, if he had the, like, if if he had the wine on his tray table and Chantal was, like, shifting around a little bit, or maybe she wasn't even moving, maybe she was stationary, and, I don't know, like, her fupa hit the tray table or something, did that cause it to spill? I feel like we're not getting the, the whole story here. Okay, so, by the way, you guys don't have to delete me- messages, just let people talk, but only, like, really hateful racist stuff, you know what I mean? Okay, so, um, I'll get to, I have a lot to talk about, so I need to get it out. What was I going to say? So I'm not even really looking at the comments right now, so they can just go with talk if you want, I don't care. All right, so, um, that's when the sandwich starts hurting my stomach, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gurgling. For some reason, the cream cheese or something in that sandwich gave me the ultimate gas. It was the, probably the... <laughs> it's because it was a vegetarian sandwich. <laughs> it went down her esophagus and her body was like foreign entity detected. What the fuck is this green stuff? <laughs> oh my God. This didn't come straight out of a fryer or a brown paper bag. What is this in our body right now? Worst gas attack I ever had in my life. And we're like, the the captain was like, okay, we have 20 minutes left till landing. Cause you know, landing is a whole process. They got to go down, 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 down. So, there's like a gaggle of geese having an orgy in the background and I'm freaking out. Listen. Yep. Anyways. And I'm like, okay, I can hold it. Cause I'm not about to go. Cause you know, when you're landing, they say, okay, the lock, the, the bathrooms are going to be locked. So I couldn't go. I had to go. Like I had to go number two. I had to go. You know what I mean? And I, and I have no gallbladder. So I'm like, well, wait for landing. So we land. And then you know how you have to wait to deplane. Oh. So she had to take a shit. I don't, I don't mean this to be mean, just from like a geometry standpoint. Those bathrooms are small on planes. They're, they're little, they're really little. Um, if she's someone that prays to have the seat next to her vacant so that she can have two seats, I can't imagine that getting in and out of that bathroom is very diff or very, uh, easy for her. Let alone, let alone trying to go number two. I mean, for guys, like, you know, I just kind of have to stand there and piss. Like, you know, if I had to sit down and do, that's a lot. So, I mean, kind of squeezing in like that to shit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the math is mathing. Tiff Belial, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Welcome back for another month. You keep me company while I make meatballs and spaghetti. I'll set you a plate. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Tiff. You're always so you're always so polite. Thank you so much. I would love a plate. I would. Probably couldn't fit. I don't. I, I like. I don't think that. And kind of the way that she's telling this story, I think that that's the way that it's going. Okay. Chantal's red wing. I'm shook. Chantal, I need my welcome home. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay, let me get this out. Sam broke up his life. We went, Chantel. Haha. <laughs> we told you so. You told me what? I don't even get what. Is that? A, oh, that's a hate comment. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to delete that. I don't care what they say. Okay, listen. It takes forever to deplane. The, everyone's just standing there, like waiting for them to, to open the door. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to get to go. I'm like clenching hard. I need to go. Then we're all standing up. I go, go grab my luggage from the overhead bin. And the guy's like, okay, everyone sit back down because immigration is coming on board. And I was like, what? No, no, they're going to like investigate people. Why do you have to hold up the whole plane to investigate one person trying to get into Canada? You know? And like, I'm like, oh no, I can't make it. I'm so sick from this sandwich. And like, oh my gosh. 
I couldn't hold it. I was like, I couldn't hold, like, I'm like, I can't. Anyway, somehow miraculously I did. They would check our passports. Like they checked everyone's passports. So that's the story on that. So now being in Canada, hi everybody. Nice to see you. Sorry. I didn't look at the comments really. Um, I'm moving. Okay. So that really didn't have a climax. That story just kind of fizzled out. So you really had to take a shit. It took a while for you to get off the plane so that you could get into a bathroom that you could fit into. And you ended up hold, you ended up being able to hold it. I, I, I don't know. Like, I was expecting her to be like, I just let it, I just let it go. I just let it go. And then I did my best to waddle over to the bathroom to get it out of my dress. Like, I just did. I mean, I wasn't expecting her to just be like, yeah, so I ended up being able to hold it in. It was awful, but I did it. All right. <sighs> Miraculous. <laughs> Miraculously. <laughs> Oh my god. Urka Ray, thank you so much for the bits. Heifer is a beautiful name for a baby girl. <laughs> I don't know. With with all the names that uh, people are giving their kids nowadays, I wouldn't be surprised if someone names their kid Heifer. Being here, um, I can't stand the summer in Kuwait. It's bad for my health. Um, I need free health care because... Even no matter what my visa status would be there. I don't want to talk about that, but it would be expensive. So just think of, make whatever you want of that. If you want to think that I have this visa, that visa it doesn't matter. It's okay. Fine. Whatever. But it is expensive. <laughs> just say that. Okay. So, um, she's not going to confirm or deny anything because she has told us so many different stories. Look at how flustered her face is. Like, look where my mouse is right now. Look, it's like completely white. And then as you get a little bit more up on her cheek, it's just like beet red. It honestly looks like a five o'clock shadow, except it's blood and not facial hair. You, know, you see what I mean? It's like normal, 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 normal heat miser. So she's claiming that she left because of the heat. I think that she's giving us a whole laundry list of reasons as to why she needed to leave. Um, one being she needs access to free health care because she can't afford it otherwise. And two, because uh, she can't stand the heat. I'm not divorced. I'm still with Salah. I'm taking things day by day and letting, leaving, honestly, this, I know you're going to think it's cringe, but I'm leaving it up to God. Like, I'm just going to control what I can control in my life and not worry so much. So, like, because, like, honestly, when I'm dead, the anxiety, the, what I'm worried about won't matter. You know, I'll be, like, <laughs> honestly, when you, I don't know, I just, I have to worry about myself. Nikki P. Browning, are you going to move in with peace? I hope you have help. Thank you. I'm not sure what I'm doing at all. Like, I am definitely getting an apartment like I, I need to get my own setup here so i need to set up everything which means i have to like get everything from scratch like i'm not rich like i we are okay like we do fine like we were able to like you know everything fix the car <laughs> the sky is blue water is wet foodie beauty is not rich <laughs> or um get me here which was like crazy um it was a cheaper though on those two flights, but I I'm never going to compromise this. I can't. It's too. Air Canada is really good though. Air Canada. The only thing is they don't have personalized vents. I was almost dying. Um... Oh no. Air Canada doesn't have personalized vents. Ugh. Those demons. How could you subject her to such conditions? I mean, think about, th seriously, think about all of the 450 pound plus people that are constantly frequenting Air Canada. You're just not going to give them vents? Oh. <laughs> we should rise up. Protest. Picket signs outside their headquarters. I'll be the first one out there. PK, thanks for the bits again. Uh. No, I don't think that she reported me. Vegan72, thank you so much for subscribing for a second month with Amazon Prime on Twitch. Happy to have you back again. I'm also getting Sam back. <laughs> like, 
I'm getting Sam back. I feel like this is bullshit. I've heard rumblings of this. I feel like this is bullshit. I mean, homegirl can't even take care of herself, let alone a cat. And I mean, I know that that hasn't stopped her in the past, but she has an option right now to leave Sam in the care of someone else. Going out of her way to get care of Sam... I don't know if that's going to be the first thing. Maybe maybe she's just saying that. I, I don't think. I hope she's trolling too. Yeah. I hope she's trolling too. She wants to bed rot. <laughs> I know Sala is throwing a party right now. Well, I mean... He, he's probably a little bit nervous because Chantal is more likely to give him money if she can be there with him. You know, if they're, if they're like living together or he can see her face to face, it's a lot more like, but I mean, just like, I'd imagine, I'd imagine that Chantal is still sending him money. I don't know, like Western Union or PayPaling him money or something, but I could see over time where if she ends up staying a few more months, come like July, come like August, she's not going to feel as compelled to send him money anymore. It's like, oh, you know, my husband from the internet that I never see. He's probably a little bit nervous because he's losing his meal ticket. When I get my place, the foster lady... um She's like, after all, she had a cat before Sam, an older cat, and he doesn't really like Sam. I thought they were getting along, but no. Are you worried about celebrities? Thank you, Jessica. You know what? No, I'm not worried about, I'm not going to worry about that. Like, I have my trust in him, renewed trust. I said I would do it, like, trust. Like, and, you know, like, I'm just going to live life. Like, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not going to stress about that. I'm not going to, there's nothing I can do. I don't have a, I'm not a fly on the wall over there. I can't live my life distrusting somebody, you know? Like, I can't waste that energy. Um, if I ever learn of something, that's different. I'll deal with it, but I'm not gonna... What? This, this is the exact opposite of what she has said recently. I can't spend my life being a fly on the wall distrusting someone. Well, isn't that exactly what you did when all of the poop text messages released? That's exactly what you did. You ran back there as quick as you could to go be a fly on the wall and breathe down his neck. Hmm. I still can't get over the five o'clock shadow, but it's hypertension and not facial hair. This is wild right here. Oh, thanks so much, Gen X hater aid. I had fun doing that yesterday. It was it was a lot. It was definitely a lot, but that was a fun little video. Why isn't she in Kuwait anymore? Um, well, she does not. I don't think that she addresses it specifically, but the kind of what's been going around the rumor meal or the grapevine of Girl World is that there are new travel visa restrictions that people just can't renew a travel visa indefinitely and stay in a country. So I'm thinking that she ran into a little bit of trouble and she was forced back to Canada. She is saying that she is back because she can't handle the heat. She can't handle um, not having free health care. She's giving us a whole laundry list of reasons as to why she has to come back to Canada. But at the end of the day, I think it's because she had to come back. Because, I mean... She's never put in her, she has never put her health first. So the whole healthcare thing, like, okay. <laughs> um, the whole heat thing. I mean, I've lived in a very hot area during summer too. Girl, you don't go outside. What's, what, what, so what then? I mean, you get all your food brought to you. You don't have to do anything. We see the way that you live your life. It's inside an air conditioned apartment. Who cares how hot it is outside? <laughs> Okay, well, I have to do the drapes up to not let the heat in during the summer. <laughs> I think that these are all BS reasons. This is all BS reasons. But she's trying to convince the audience that she came back on her own volition. Not because she was forced back. 
I'm so sorry to hear that beautiful energy. Hopefully you have a good recovery in that. Day by day, one day at a time. Um, Puck Yuru, thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch. Happy to have you as a member. Hello, Puck. Uh, no, I'm going to focus on myself. Um, yeah, I just, there's a lot of things I, I miss, like, that I didn't think I would ever miss when I first moved to Kuwait. And when I got here, I was, like, very patriotic. I was like, Canada! But a lot of people on the plane were looking out and they were like, you could tell they missed Canada. Like, you get homesick, but I also, now I miss Kuwait a lot, too. Because when you're, you ingrain yourself in a culture for a year and a half or however long I was there, it's like, you know? And my I miss Julia and Harry so bad. Like, that's like, no matter which country I'm in, I have... No. When you ingrain yourself into a culture, there's such a contrast when you come back to Canada. <gasps> She did not just say that. No. Ingrained into the culture. Chantal, you were ingrained into a couch cushion. You were ingrained into a bed. No. You were ingrained into the passenger seat of that car. You, you didn't have any friends. You didn't associate with any of his family. The only thing... <laughs> The only thing that's different about Canada and Kuwait is now she doesn't have someone to bring her food to her and she's allowed to smoke. And she's a, she's allowed to act more of a fool. She's allowed to say whatever she wants, stuff like that. Ingrained into the culture. No. <gasps> heartbreak because i miss my cats here and then i miss julia like her little face and her fishy breath Ooh. but salah is a good cat dad i don't want to leave him like he genuinely genuinely looks sad at the thought of leaving julia hi squeaky yeah sarah jean hi Brittany. ghostface inshallah he can come here yeah no i'm not here to renew my visa he hated animals that move he used to half light he used to he was not an animal person. He was not raised with pets. He could care less about them before. He didn't hate them. Like, you know, he wouldn't hurt anything, but he fell in love with Julia. In love. Like, there's not yet about, about 15 times a day. I, oh, I, I'm like, are you harassing the cat again? Because he grabs her and holds her and just kisses her for like five minutes straight. And she doesn't persist, but she, you know how cats look whenever you hold them? They're like, do you hear the geese? <laughs> Anyways... <sighs> Dispensary time for wheelchair bees. I can't blink it. Can you not smoke in Kuwait? Not weed. And that's 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 her that's her everything. THC is her everything. I mean, she can smoke sh shisha and she can smoke cigarettes, but weed, oh, weed's everything to her. He'd better get a job. I'd imagine that she will continue to send him money, but I think it's not good for him if they're not like near each other. I, cause I mean, the thing that the thing about last season versus this season is she would give money to Natter, but it would always be okay. Well, I want to see you though. I want to sleep with you. It's like, if you let me come over and we sleep together, I'm fine giving you $500. The problem with this is he's in another country across the world. So, I mean, she might be all like, oh, yeah, we're still married. I'll still send you money, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, she's not getting anything out of it. And I think that she's going to realize that sooner than later. And you know what? Another thing is... um, I have always sort of gotten a little bit of uh, a pompous vibe from Sala. I don't think Sala wants to work. I don't think that he feels that he is the type of person that would have to go to a store or like work a retail job or something like that. I think that he's a, I think that he feels that he's above it. Um, there was one comment that he made. This was a while back, but they had gone to the movie theater together and 
God, what, Insidious. They saw the new Insidious movie. And when they left and they were doing like, you know, their little vlog walking around the mall talking about how the movie was, he said, oh, I felt like that movie was kind of low budget. Like, you imported a quarter-ton Canadian woman to come and give you money. Um, I just have always gotten the vibe that he thinks that he's above it, that he's a lot um, more deserving. And, you know, the thing about Kuwait, it seems, is that there's a very sharp contrast between the classes, like upper class, like extremely wealthy, can have whatever they want. You know, just like the wealth is exorbitant but then the people that have to actually work i feel like Sh i feel like sala is someone that feels like he should be upper class but he doesn't have the finance to back it up he just has that mindset and he has that entitlement in him so i don't think that he wants to work uh liabilities How old is he? We have been told that he's 30. It's not confirmed. He could be older than 30. We're not sure. Because his family is upper class. It's been said that his family, like, they have they have good jobs. Like, I think that the sister's like a pharmacist or something. Um, so the the siblings i i don't know how the parents do financially or whatever but just basically he's kind of like the black sheep maybe he came for money but was like the eldest brother so he got nothing you know his family's disappointed and you know i, I just I mean i know in that culture like family and honor is a lot more prevalent like uh I can't imagine that what they have seen him do for, with his life the past year and a half with her and bringing her in and living off of her and everything. I can't imagine that that um, has been sitting very well with them in a we're proud of you and what you've accomplished sort of context. He's a bum. How many other women does he have? We don't know. We don't know. I mean, we have... Um, you think a pharmacist is a high-paying job? I didn't... I don't believe that I said it was a high-paying job. Although, I mean, here in the United States, at least, a phar phar pharmacist is a good job. That's a good job. I mean, you have to go to school for like, what, seven, eight years to do that? It pays really well. Um, in a lot of regards, actually, you know what? I will, I will go out on the line and say that it's a, it is a high paying job. I mean, it, it's nowhere to the extent where you're making millions, you know, it's not like extreme upper class, but pharmacists make good money. I, yeah, I, I don't really know what you mean by that. Um, yes, of course I miss him. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. No, Ramadan's not over. I didn't have to fast while I was traveling. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been doing that right now. Um, but yeah, what do you have questions about? Pe creepy comfort and crime! Thank you! Oh yeah, I can like the comments. Welcome back, you've been missed. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you guys missed me. Nicolina, I did, f I let it go on the plane so bad I couldn't hold it. It was like the, like a machine gun with mixed with a tuba. <laughs> I'm religious. I don't care. Here's the thing. There's religion and there's culture. Oh my God. Okay? Uh, so in addition to Chantal boxing you into a seat, she was, as she described, machine gun farting. Oh my God. So she ate this vegetarian sandwich that had cream cheese on it. It upset her stomach. So then she machine fart 
sorry, she machine gun farted the entire time. Oh. Oh, could you imagine being that person next to her? I mean, you get half a seat to begin with. <laughs> you get you get half of what is already a small seat, and then Chantal is machine gun Kelly farting on you. <laughs> I'm Canadian, like blood wise, and we believe in the medicinal power of marijuana. So that's something I'm going to consider because, um, you know, I know it would be for machine gunt belly. Machine gunt belly. What's like a play on words we can get for Megan Fox? So like. She could be machine gun belly and Salah could be what's like play on words for Megan Fox. Frowned upon by most Muslim people. But for me, it's like, I don't know. It's like medicine for me. I feel like having like a night when I get home, like whenever, you know, you, you do your whole day, be productive. And then later at night for a treat, like to relax, it's like medicine. Look, it helps with like, you know, the CBD and that can help with pain. I can't take too many more NSAIDs. Like my stomach is going to have a hole like this big inside it, you know, so... But I'm still Muslim. I still believe in, in God. And like, how can I, you know, how can I just automatically, uh, you know what? You can stop believing. People switch all the time. People go through struggle. You know, I think religion is something very personal, you know? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sabriana! Glad you were okay. Was worried your mouth got... Mega farts. <laughs> it's close enough to be good, but it doesn't sound like Megan Fox enough. <laughs> oh my god y'all kill me uh the only escalator in wyoming thank you so much for the super chat what happened are we back in canada we're back in canada but i just want to bring to everybody's attention just because she's back in canada this doesn't mean that she's here forever this is the exact same shit that she said back in december Oh, I'm back. Oh, I can't live there anymore. Oh, I'm going to get an apartment. Oh, I have to focus on my health. We heard all of this a little over three months ago. And then the next week or like two weeks after that, back in Kuwait. So take this, take this lightly. I wouldn't say that she's back indefinitely. Just yet. Just yet. Thought you in trouble. Be safe and not talk personal business online or speak ill of others. You're right. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. Nikki B. Knowing. We like honesty, less hate when you're being real. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I know you guys are all happy because like this is the land of the bees. For the land of the bees. Oh no, that's the American. The geese is getting on my nerves. Anyways, I was thinking as a celebration, let's go eat somewhere. But I'm gonna come back live when I get there because <laughs> you know the rules. Rosemary, I look happier. But what you said was true. What did I say? Hi, Rebe! Hi, everybody! Who did I miss? Rebe, because of chronic pain. Yeah, that's up to me. It's like medicine, you know? Sushi! Jessica, your 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 channel's been blowing up, huh? Yeah, thanks, Golden Girl. Lolo, everybody, crab legs. Char Carol Chimes. Our home in Beezing land! <laughs> what did you say? Oh, Canada, our home in Beezing land. True home of the bees. Imagine I'm getting King Beezer back, and I'll never leave him again. Pretty soon he'll be strumming on a new counter. I can't go back to Kuwait, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, no name. Sham. Kuwait, look, I love Kuwait. And when did Poopgate happen? Um, I'll, I'll never forget it because I remember I was walking around Disney World when all those text messages got released. I think I was in Magic Kingdom getting ready to go on um, Haunted Mansion when all of Twitter started blowing up about the poop texts. So it was the week between Christmas and New Year's of 2023. And I do miss Salah like a lot. It's so hard being in a long distance marriage and for who, who knows how long. But this is like a sacrifice I have to make. And it'll be a true test of our relationship too because, you know, like that long of distance? No. We'll see, you know, and I, I'm here to like, also, I have to work on myself, but I need a plan. So on the 18th, I have like a um, therapy session. 
but I'm like starting immediately because I have help from my family to like, you know, help me get in places and stuff. Um, my makeup, I don't have a lot on. Can we go in the handbag? I missed <laughs> down under. Um, yeah, soon, sometime soon. Yeah. I guess, of course I miss him and I don't want to shit talk him. Like that's the only thing I ask us just not talk about him. You can have your opinions, but just keep them to yourself. Like, you know, just, he is my husband and you know, it's important for me, like a little bit of respect for that. Lolo, 34 months. Girl, I knew it. Felt you were back. I'm glad you were taking care of you. Thank you. Ready, set, repeat. But we're just going to be, thank you so much, Lolo. We're going to be, um, yeah, someday he can visit. But like for now, I'm just, I have to focus on me and, you know, beezing. <laughs> He's going to take care of the pets. Don't worry about them. He's taking really good care of them. And I like talk to him every day, you know, on video to see, okay, this is the pet situation, you know. Hi, Tracy. Oh, well, we know how that worked out when she told us that she was video chatting with Pete's to see how the pet situation was doing with BBJ. Oh, yeah. I video chatted with Pete's and he showed me her nails on video chat. Found out that was a lie. Yeah, I video chat with Sala and he shows me the pet situation. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine that he only accepts the video call if the Western Union deposit goes through first. What the hell is beezing? It's like a verb that she made up. It's like... Like a acting like an idiot, basically. Like her going and getting fast food and dancing in her car. That would be beezing. Her and screwing some guy on drugs uh and then leaving and going to get like a quarter pounder from mcdonald's like that would be beezing like anything that she does that's stupid um like an activity that's beezing or just like her going about daily life is beezing like it doesn't even have to be stupid stuff like i, I don't know she just uses it very uh loosely it can literally mean whatever you want it to mean why is she streaming from her car? Because I think that wherever she's living right now, she doesn't want to stream from that house. So she needs to go out in the car and uh, do her thing. Juniper Deer, thank you for the bits. Puck Yuru, thank you so much for gifting a subscription to Famaro. That was really kind of you to do. So you subscribed and then you gifted one. A little BOGO. Except you bought both of them. You didn't get one. <laughs> What's a BOGO where you just buy two and don't get anything? <laughs> Thanks so much, Puku Brew. Uh, CC Nags, really appreciate the super sticker. Thank you so much, CC. Beezing equals acting like a child. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Because uh, what do I miss about him? Everything. Like, just having that person there with you. Like, I feel lonely. I feel lonely and blue. <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> Hold on! I feel lonely and blue. I won't torture you. Without you, baby, without you. I can't. Oh, you know what I was listening to when I was putting my makeup on? I feel like I'm living out my car. Maybe I am. Ah! Oh. You know that song? I want my MTV. My nose hairs. And that's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. I'm hyper as hell. <sighs> yeah, addressing my health. I can't stand the summer there. <laughs> um, <sighs> I would just be in all the time. You know, in the summer it's worse. You are. Be in. You're in. The, you're in the. You're in the apartment anyway. What do you mean? Oh, theoretically, if I were to stay there during the summer, I would just be inside. I mean, it was fucking winter and you were inside. What do you mean? I mean, it, 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 honestly, you guys, if I would stay there during the summer, I would just be in the apartment all the time. And what kind of life is that? Who just wants to be cooped up in the apartment all the time? You! You lived in... It, it was the dead of winter over there. It was like, pff, I don't know, 60s? Not that hot. And you were inside not doing anything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So where is she living now? Um, we don't know for sure, but it's been speculated that she's either staying with her mother or her aunt. 
she's living out of her car for sure. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't think that. Because she has family in this area. That's why she went there. Jordy, have you ever beezed? <laughs> uh. A double quarter pounder with bees. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I haven't seen her this ramped up in forever. Yeah, she she like never has this kind of energy. She'd be on that winter magic. Let me ride it. I cannot go outside. I will die there in the summer. So glad you're not one with the sea. Nikki P, thanks, Nikki P. Yeah, it's normal to have time apart. Thanks, Millie. Lisa P. So, um, what was I going to say? Apple bees, twisty, misty. Yes, we're going to do all those things. Just give me time. I want to go eat somewhere. Let's go fight some people at the DQ. How should we start the fight, Hexy? Thanks, Marvels. No, they don't have Nashies right now. I'm disappointed. Honky... Uh, <laughs> Haunted places, yes. Harvey's. I got a bunch of things, Cheryl Pennington's, from Pennington's. <laughs> Cash up, what? Yeah, um, orange tulip. So I have to go thrift shopping or something for all new house stuff. Dollar Tree has plates and things. <sighs> Yo, mom is stuck on a roller coaster? Agathon, what's up? Sam, Sam, and here. Hey, Tracy! How are you doing? Throw a handful of ice cream? No, I don't want to go to jail. Hi, Jenna! Thanks, Georgia girl. Do I have Cash App? I have PayPal. Why is she out of breath? Well, she's been talking for over 20 minutes at this point. So that's been a lot of effort exerted on her end. She's looking like Chantal's life journey. She's out of breath just sitting there. How long until the cosplay comes off? I would imagine that she's only wearing the hijab when she goes into public. She's only filming it when she goes live and when she's in public. Because if people were to spot her in public not wearing this, I mean, that would be like you know, ammunition for days to use against her. So I think that she goes out in case she gets photographed or something or something by someone and she wears it when she, but I think other than that, like just around the house or whatever, I don't think that she's wearing it. Uh, when, when she breaks up or whenever they inevitably have a fallout or whatever, that's when this will come off. And she'll, she'll, you know what, you know what she'll say though? It'll be, Oh, uh, well, you know, I can still be Muslim and not wear a hijab. There's a lot of Muslims that don't wear hijabs. Why are you guys giving me shit for this? Like, she'll come up with some type of justification as to why she's not wearing it anymore. The hijab hides her. Yeah, I mean, honestly, though, like, it's from, like, a fashion standpoint. I think that she likes it because she's able to cover up the chins. So, I mean, like, if you can just show, like, an outline of your face, like, say say I had, like, a bunch of chins right here. Like, if I could wear, like, a scarf or something around my face that was just, like, an oval and only showed my face, you know, because, I mean, like, behind the black, there's a lot more to be seen. So, I mean, if you can hide it like that, she probably likes it. Thomas the Tank Engine. Is that, like, that children... Is that like the little engine that could Thomas the train? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like this, like Thomas the train, for example, like, you know, you see how like Thomas the train. Like it, it it's just like its face, like you can't see Thomas the train's neck. So, I, I mean, from like. A styling yourself kind of view, if you can put it behind fabric, that might be the move. My PayPal? For what? You guys are going to, um, um, 
What was I going to say? I don't know. Thank you! We have tornadoes? No way! <laughs> Does that didn't help. Oh, house peas. St. Hubert's. I saw that St. Hubert's has Nashville chicken tenders. <gasps> you know what would be so good? A chicken pot pie from St. Hubert's with a side of Nashville chicken tenders. <sighs> Dispensary peas. <laughs> Did she just say a side of chicken tenders? <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but when I get chicken tenders, they're the main entree. <laughs> a side of chicken tenders. <laughs> oh my god. I used to have this friend that I would go out to eat with sometimes, and he would get um, a dozen wings as an appetizer. Like, I, I, like, the first time he did it, I just thought, like, oh, he's getting wings for his meal. He got wings for the appetizer, and then... And another, like, in another entree in addition to that. Like, that, that was just, like, the side. <laughs> you know, like, some people for appetizers, they'll get, like, chips and salsa, um, pita bread and hummus, something like that. And a dozen wings was the, the warm-up. <laughs> a side of chicken tenders. <laughs> the exhale after she said that was disturbing. I don't know if I paid attention. Let me go back. <laughs> Said it help. Oh, house peas. St. Hubert's. I saw that St. Hubert's has Nashville chicken tenders. <gasps> you know what would be so good? A chicken pot pie from St. Hubert's with a side of Nashville chicken tenders. <sighs> dispensary bees. <laughs> no. We can dispensary bees whenever I get my own place. You know, I'm just driving around right now. So a lot of driving. So I want to be more clear headed. I'm so tired. Well, uh, like, I have severe, like, I, I slept, like, went to bed at 11 and woke up at 6.45 a.m. Anyway, sorry about my TMI story about the plane, but it was, like, literally bad for me. So, so like, kind of what's normal for someone your age? Like, what what is that? Like, almost seven hours? So, like, pr pretty average for someone your age. <laughs> oh, guys, I went to bed at 9 p.m. and I woke up at 8 a.m., I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. <laughs> oh, Tiff Belial, thank you so much for the super chat. You lost your shit at McDonald's today. All you wanted was a muffin, and they give you a muffin, muffin with frozen butter. Who gives someone frozen butter with a knife? Sometimes I hate people. Thanks for making me smile. <laughs> oh my god, I've been given some pretty uh, questionable things in my bag at McDonald's too. So sorry to hear that, Tiff. Mad Hatter, appreciate the bits. The last few days have been awful. Your lives make everything better. Oh, appreciate that, Mad Hatter. A big heart hand for you. I hope the rest of your week goes okay. Beautiful Energy, thank you so much for becoming a member on YouTube. We're happy to have you. Welcome to the Shorties. Jordy's getting old. He is. He is. Gosh, I'm going to start complaining about hip pain here. Jordy, make an era, make a video about your fat era lore. Um... I mean, I just ate more. I ate more. Uh, just, I, I mean, I don't know. Like when I, w I would say my highest, like my sophomore year of college, like I was in like the 270s. It wasn't cute. It was not cute. And um, I just remember life being a lot harder. Uh, just everything was more annoying. Every like I just always wanted to take the easy way out. It's like, oh, well, if I don't have to do that flight of stairs, let's go about something. So or let's go about a decision so that we don't have to walk up that flight of stairs. Like I just remember it being more irritating. Are you flashing? No, I'm just scratching my shoulder and my, I'm like pale as Casper the ghost right now. So it's going to like show every little thing. Fat Jordy has entered the chat. I I should see if I have any pictures of Fat Jordy on here. What would I mean? That was a while back. Fat Jordy made a return um, during the first year of COVID. So like four years ago, I would say about four years ago around this time, Fat Jordy was on the rise. He was. He was. I should see if I have pictures of Fat Jordy from like. Because what happened was I graduated college. I lost a lot of weight. COVID happened. I put on weight again. 
And then I had my Ozempic season, took the weight off, and now I'm kind of stagnating in the 180s. The freshman 20. Oh, Carol, it was more like the freshman 50. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Um, Life with Ron. Really appreciate the super sticker. Thank you so much for that, Ron. And when we're in Frankfurt, my worst nightmare, my anxiety, the, the girl was like, okay, um, we have a situation. We have a full flight. Full, the horror, biggest horror words ever, full flight. So they were asking people to volunteer to check in their um, carry-on luggage because we might not find room. And I was like, and then the, <laughs> the first plane, the guy I had to sit with was a very tiny man. Like he was not, I'm not making fun of people of size, like, sm um, what do you, I don't know what you would say. You know, shorter people. I'm not making fun of them. But this guy, he wasn't, like, short, but he was really small. And he had a full beard. I don't know, like... <laughs> anyway, um, he was like, can I sit here? And I was like... So, a little person sat next to her on this flight? Can I sit here? So, Peter Dinklage came along and sat next to Chantal. Okay. Like, and I got mad. <laughs> I was like, yes, you may. Um, I'm just going to go check if there's a- She got mad. Someone wanted to sit down and she got mad. <laughs> I could just picture her wanting to have this open uh, seat in the middle. And anyone who comes by, oh, yeah, I guess you can sit down here. I guess you can sit in a seat that you paid for. Now I don't get to lean over and spill on in over into it. Like as if he as if he's the inconvenience. She got mad. Little people, big woman. Hi, Jordy's camera. Were they a leprechaun? I don't know. I, that little accent she did imitating the person was kind of peculiar, though. any other seats available <laughs> and there were none so i had to sit beside him but he was fine the good thing about sitting beside someone very small when you're fat is they have more room that you can encroach on <laughs> so it's cute to be a nuisance it's quirky to be an inconvenience the good thing about sitting next to a little person is you can spill on over into their seat a little bit and it's okay because it's not like they're using it anyway. I, I would feel embarrassed. I would feel embarrassed. She's like happy about it. She's like, oh, I pulled one over on them. <sighs> Get a wheelchair right. No more wheelchairs. Those are too much. Honestly. Time for poop game round two. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I, I, if it happens, it happens. I don't care. Whatever. I'm not going to worry my life about things. <laughs> Reginald, fill a deposit fund. You finally seem like yourself again. Missed you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, do you know how expensive it is to, like, start up again? So every little bit helps. Like, when your car breaks down, you have to move. And you have to travel internationally. And you have to buy things at the airport when you're traveling internationally, like a lot of fluids, which caught every time I would buy drinks at the airport, it was like 30 bucks. Yeah, no problem, no name. Uh, my living in my Kia, yes. <clears throat> Set the chin free. That's why I'm doing a little bit of the chin. I can reveal a little bit of the chin. My car, like, it wasn't broke. It just had a lot of wear and tear. It had a lot of things wrong like not a lot of things wrong with it but it needed a lot of maintenance like regular maintenance because it was especially the brakes they were like close to 2000 i'm not getting it was like all okay if i should i light up fiji white sands or belgian waffle i don't know what candle i want to light up i'm leaning toward belgian waffle though i'm leaning toward that 
the more I learn about this girl, the more I dislike her. <laughs> that that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> that's why when people walk in to a chat room like this for the first time, they just like watch my video and they're just like, you know what? Why are you making fun of this woman? Why are you bullying this woman? You know, you must be pretty unhappy with your own personal life to come onto the internet and just talk shit on her all the time. Why don't you leave her alone? And then they watch for a little bit and they go, oh. <laughs> Like the waffle one. All right, I'm going to do the waffle one. I called a regular mechanic who's known to be like fair price, blah, blah, blah. Because they always say the dealership's scamming you. Well, this guy wasn't much cheaper. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the actual Ikea. Was it OEM parts or something? Like original Kia parts. And they guarantee their work. And Sorry, I need to clean. We need to clean the Kia, man. So, yeah, that was insane. Okay, there we go. I cannot show my hair. No wife leaves her husband if you love him. Yeah, but I also love myself, so I'm here to work on myself. Anyways, that's our business, right? I don't. I can't pin my PayPal. Oh, you guys are sweet. You don't have to, but if you want to, my PayPal is. <laughs> I don't know how to pin. I'm on my phone. It's C. Okay, get ready to write it down if you want to, but you don't have to. No. But if you do, thank you. Okay. Giving her pay her PayPal username out. Oh my God. You guys don't have to send me PayPal donations, but if you want to. <laughs> you know, the thing about PayPal donations is um, they don't take a percentage from that. Like if you were to donate, I mean, okay. This is not me advertising it. I'm just explaining it. If you were to donate to me on Twitch versus on YouTube, I would get 100% of the money versus what does YouTube take? Like 30%. So anytime someone sends in a $10 super chat, I get seven. So like if you were to send it on Twitch, so like that show, she would much prefer a PayPal super chat because you get a hundred percent of it and she doesn't pay taxes anyway. So Jordi, did a Zempic make your stick? Did it make you? Um, I had some uh, side effects on it. Like I was a little bit nauseous. It did make my stomach upset, but like, I will tell you all of the side effects that I um, put up with while on Ozempic, a thousand percent worth it would do it over a hundred times again. Being able to take off all that weight for a little bit of suffering, a thousand times would do it over. Jordy's the candle queen. I got my Belgian waffles candle um, all lit up. So it's C-S-A-R-A. Is that my PayPal? E is that my PayPal email? Yeah. C-S-A-R-A. Uh, no, you know what? Just look up Foodie Beauty. PayPal.me backslash Foodie Beauty. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you, Miss Linda. Welcome home. Ready for supporting the new supporting the new Villa Glow Up. Yeah, I want to have like a Bed Rot Bees era. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Independent woman. That's the arc. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to have a bed rot bees era. <laughs> We've been in that for years now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for the foodie videos. Yeah. I miss, honestly, I do miss like my, my content was, I don't know. My PayPal's my hot. Okay. My hotmail is C S A R A 084 at hotmail.com. Yeah. C S A R A. 084 at hotmail.com or paypal.me backslash foodie beauty or you can request a cameo and get your cameo now yeah so i want to like we have to pennington's bees we have to do all the beesing like in kuwait like i liked living in a different culture and i liked um i, don't, I, I like like both places so it's like really hard for me i feel very conflicted like and i feel like an identity crisis a little bit yeah Greenwood. Go for a million. Yeah, Jack. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. <laughs> the Greenwood. Quaid is the saddest. Like, why was it depressing for you guys? Just because you, you guys are used to me having such an outgoing personality to being completely muted or what? <clears throat> That's what it was, right? Hi, Georgia girl. So that's good. No, I have not seen the new documentary on me. That was not me. Well... I think a lot of it is cultural. I don't think it's like hot on to laugh at farts. 
But I could be wrong. I don't know. Have you seen sad? No, I, I was like happy. I don't know if it's haram to laugh at farts. What, what are we even talking about at this point? Be there, but like, yeah. I feel like I want to break free. <laughs> I want to break free and eat chicken pot pie with some nashies. No, I have to get healthy, but first I need to like have a celebration. Oh my god. Admit it. That's how they always phrase or rationalize trying to go on a new diet. That's how they do it every single time. No, no, I need to get my life together. I need to quit putting poison into my body. I need to quit all this fried food and everything. But first, we have to go to the Golden Corral. But first, we have to go out with a bang. I mean, if I'm going to get my life in order and I'm going to start eating healthy... I want to remember this part of my life as a good one. So let's go and have the 8,000 calorie meal before we, you know, adhere to a strict diet. <laughs> and honestly, what they end up doing is they let themselves have this like big binge and this like blowout, say goodbye to being a fatty meal. And then they don't do the diet. So it's almost like, telling themselves that dieting is going to be counterproductive because they have this little go out with a bang meal, but then they just keep eating the way that they do. That's that Amber Lynn's big on that too. Amber Lynn loves to do that. Oh, you know, we'll start Monday. Oh yeah. I mean, it, it'll be like a Friday afternoon and she'll be like, well, I'm not going to change my life around on a Friday afternoon. Are you kidding me? No, we're going to live it up this weekend. And then we'll start on Monday. <laughs> oh my god kills me kills me thank you charlene thank you guys for the birthday wishes that was depressing i miss driving like i love i was driving down the the long road singing i can see, see you <laughs> the boys of summer song I'm, i don't have any plans to go back to kuwait i don't have a return ticket i'm getting a place here down under thank you for joining me so we need a bees army again so we can go marching into the bees I tried my best. Thank you, Joey. These glasses. Maybe SUP someday. I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day now. No, widow too young. Kiana. Like, even if I, like, taking off your hijab? No, I can't. I'm not doing that. I want to come up with different hijab styles. Different hijab styles? I mean, she's not going to take it off at first, but it will come off of it. If, if she and this dude are done for, this will come off eventually. But I don't know. I don't know. Do we think maybe there's a chance that it stays on because of what we talked about earlier? Like the whole Thomas the Train thing? Because if it shapes her face to a way that she likes it, maybe it could be advantageous in that way. Do you guys see the flame in the reflection of my glasses? Look at it. I'm like moving it from lens to lens. It's her only personality trait. What? Covering up her chin is her only personality trait? What do you mean? Um, Aaron Marie, thank you so much for the super chat. You just got off work and you're ready for the train wreck. Well, the train, well, I don't know. The train has wrecked, but its face still looks good. Good with a question mark on the end of it. The hijab and being religious. Uh, okay. It's like the only thing she has to her character right now is being religious. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We definitely don't put the slim and Muslim. She converted just to be able to cover up her bald head. Maybe it was like a two uh, birds with one stone kind of thing. You know, it's like, well, we get to go and have a fake husband. And we get to cover up the chin. You know. 
Maybe that bird that she killed. Sorry, maybe those two birds that she killed with one stone, those will be the side of chicken tenders that she has with the pot pie. Jordy's canceled. <laughs> what? For saying she doesn't put the slim in Muslim? <laughs> You have to dirty delete the stream now. <laughs> it's just play on words. It's in the word. M-U-S-L-I-M. Um, Melissa DeToli, thank you so much for the super chat. Is she going back to Canada to do her dollar store shopping and to renew her visa for Kuwait? I missed part of the live. We think, or Girl World, the grapevine, thinks that she is back in Kuwait because of new laws regarding people not just being able to renew a travel visa indefinitely. She is here saying, well, I need to get my health fixed. I, I can't be there during the summer because it's too hot. She's giving us the whole song and dance about why she had to come back to Canada. But I think it's because she had to come back. Menopause happens. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Like a more Western hijab style. And when I'm over there, I dress in abayas and hijabs. Like, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> a bees means, yeah, we can bees in a hijab. And I don't, I, I ate a non-halal chicken sandwich at the airport, by the way. I was so hungry because I was like, after I didn't eat like anything on the plane, Air Canada, because of the fact that I, my stomach was so bad. So by the time I did so much walking, my body feels so bad right now. Teardrop, hi! Glad you're safe. I was worried. Thank you, Teardrop. Sorry if I missed you when you came in. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you can decide what being Muslim means to you. It's personal, exactly. There's no compulsion in Islam. Like they say, you're not, you know, like... Oh, certain my God. Th this is the exact conversation that we had last week. You can paint the canvas of your Muslim journey. You're allowed to define what being a Muslim is. Like, that's not the way that it works. Like, this isn't just like a buffet where you can walk up with your plate and take whatever you want. Uh, you know, uh, you, you ha there are certain rules and guidelines that you have to adhere to with any religion. Um, and honestly, come to think of it, I think that Islam is one of the more strict ones. Th this isn't just a create your own kind of thing. Interpret it the way you want to interpret it. Like, oh God. She's remixing the rules of religion that she fully never adopted. Pretty much. She thinks that being Muslim is just a suggestion. Yeah, she she th she probably thinks that the Quran is just a suggestion. Things, anyways, it doesn't even say in the Quran you have to wear a hijab on your head. It's interpreted that way by scholars, but mostly. Oh, you see what she just did? Perfect freeze frame, by the way. This is her soft launching, not wanting to wear the hijab. Well, it doesn't say in the Quran that you have to wear a hijab. Mm. She's setting down the train tracks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's soft launching it. Absolutely. Quran, the remix. If I was in that religion, I would be offended. A, a lot of people are offended by this. Delulu, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, FYI, smoking marijuana is a major sin in Islam. Well, maybe that's part of the religion that she chooses not to interpret the way that it's being addressed. You know, if, if it says that marijuana is a sin in Islam, maybe she's going to address it as, yeah, well, back then they didn't write it for people that need it. 
nowadays people require THC to go about pain or whatever. Like she could just like spin it. I don't know. You know how you can go on Wikipedia and click edit and like type your own stuff, like say whatever you want on Wikipedia. That's what she's doing. what it is verbatim that's like to cover make like loose clothing so you can't see the form of your body like don't dress like what we would call a skank dress you know which i used to do yeah but i don't miss that i like to be covered up honestly i do i, I i'm 40 i want to kind of start dressing my age not that if you want to dress you know like that when, when you're 60 that's no problem but for me i think i like you know like this stuff like i don't know I want to go walking too, Ribby. Yeah. Reginald doll! My, the doll I was going to get for my birthday. Reggie said, please. Welcome. So, yeah. Thanks, Leslie. Hey, Brooke. Cumbersome. Welcome, Cumbersome. Ready, set, bees. Bees. <laughs> Can we DD de wig bees? <laughs> no. I don't even. Oh, no. I don't have my wig. Maybe. No. Thank you, Lin um, Linda. Yeah, my glasses are new. No wine. I'm not going to drink alcohol. But uh, no. Turbo Toots. Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready? Set. Peace. Hi, Glam Gal. Thank you, everybody. Michelle. I'm to pull my nose. So I'm pretty much just going to bees around the bush. I'm going to take some pain meds. No, no. How many milligrams? Yeah, I can have one, one more pill. Because that's... This is worrisome. I mean, I know we say this all the time, but like, really? Out of breath, talking in your car, needing pain mills. Mills, oh my god, pain pills. You're in pain from sitting in your car? Oh my god. Take a drink every time she touches her hijab. Constantly adjusting it to make it look perfect. Perfect. Serotonin and the city. Thank you so much for subscribing with Prime on Twitch. We're happy to have you. Welcome aboard, Serotonin and the city. That's my brand is Foodie Beauty, you know? <sighs> is Incorporea a real person or AI? I don't know. Never heard of them. Thanks for the super chat. Who's that? Brittany, what's going on? Tangerine? Thank you. Fashy girl. I'm looking for my Kleenex. I was run out of Kuwait by the Islamic radicalists. No, I wasn't. They're not there's no radicalists in Kuwait. Those are mostly in Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Not the Gulf countries. Maybe Saudi Arabia. No. I don't know. Sorry, sorry, I'm gross. <laughs> oh yeah, I was listening to so I was listening to the Dire Straits. I need to, and I can't go out to eat. My hijab is slipping. Pakistan bees. <laughs> Hi, Miss Linda. Did it, Brenda? No. Pete's bees, please. He's working. What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. My birthday's over. <laughs> Fupa cop in solidarity with class. I would. <laughs> I had a decent birthday. Hi, Ribby. Happy belated. So are she and Sala done? Uh, no. Apparently not, no. Uh, the story that she's telling us right now is that she has moved back to Canada to focus on her health. Um, we've heard this once before, and then she immediately ran back to Kuwait. She's still wearing the wedding ring. Um, but as of now, they're still married. Well, married. Um, Angelfish, really appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much, Angel. Honestly, I think people can comment on Foodie without picking apart her religion. There's plenty of other things to criticize. Yeah, of course. I agree with you, Angel. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you. 
I feel like the cosplay with the hijab, she has to conform with such a wide population who would probably end up judging her if she wasn't to wear a hijab. If the camera was off, so would the hijab. I don't think that the hijab stays on when the camera's off. Well, at, at home, at home, I don't think it, it's, it stays on. Because if she goes out in the public, this, I mean, people take pictures of her in public pretty frequently and they get uploaded to Twitter and stuff. So I think that she wears it when she goes out in the public, even if she's not filming herself, just because maybe someone would get a picture of her. If they're married, I'm an astronaut. Well, you're definitely not an astronaut because where are you going to go? The moon's fake. I think she's going through a manic episode. I think that she's going through a manic episode and soon she will be depressed again. Well, you know, that's really interesting that you say that. Um, ripped pantyhose. Because... If you look at this video, this was streamed yesterday. If you look at this video, I moved back to Canada. The video immediately after this one is called St. Hubert's Bees and Sadness. So if you're correct in saying that it is some type of manic episode or whatever, I mean, immediately later that day, she uploads, oh, I'm sad now. St. Hubert's. This is where she wanted to go and get her chicken tenders, right? She wanted to go and get her pot pie with the side of chicken tenders. Let's click on this one a little bit. Okay, so she got her food. Okay. This is not food, so don't need oh my god! That damn stripper! Hello! Haven't seen you in a while! How you doing? Not but I need to eat this because I'm craving it, but... Comfort food is what it is. It makes Holy me shit! That looked like the Titanic Lego box. Watch her move this thing again. Look at this. Look how big this box is. This is like a gigantic Lego box. But I need to eat this because I'm craving it, but comfort food is what it is. It makes me not be sad. You know what would make me happy if this stupid thing... Oh no, I have two of them scheduled? <laughs> Hi Brooke, why am I messing up my streams? Sip gravy? This is not what I want to do with my life, okay? Hi go Sip gravy? This is not what I want to do with my life, okay? Hi guys! What? No, I shouldn't be eating this? Sambosa, yeah. Don't say these things. I want to go back already. But I'm not going to. Hi, Gemini. Hi, everybody. I miss. I missed too many people again to catch up on it. Okay, I got St. Hubert's. I don't want to eat in the restaurant for some reason. So I just took it to go. Rosemary's baby. Hi, Jackie, Susie, everyone I missed. Hello, Melissa. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit anxious to see the size of this pot pie. I mean, we have seen Chantal take down a pretty gargantuan pot pie, but that box is gigantic. <laughs> Holy cow. You're catching up on all the replays. It's been hard to catch a live from you. Well, I've been doing lives a lot more frequently. Um, I would say for the past three months, I've been pretty much doing a live five, six times a week. Uh, so I do make or I, I do live stream a lot more than I upload nowadays, but uh, it's nice to see you. It's been a while. I'll take what's in the box for 200. <laughs> Would you like a brand new car or what's in this St. Hubert's box? <laughs> Chantal, without hesitation, give me the pot pie. Hey, Trixie. No, I don't have two strikes. I got a strike before, 
But it only lasts 90 days. That's why. It's gone. So if you could not strike my channel, that would be great. Oh, fries and gravy. Gravy. Whoops, oops, sorry. Okay, I went through the drive-thru and I'm like, hey, can I order your pot? <laughs> There's going to be a huge box of mountain in here. I'm like, hey, can I order your pot pie? They're like, you can. Hey, Aisha, hey, thank you for the super um thing, or the, the birthday message. I did see it just not long ago. Thank you. I'll like it in a, in a bit. Hey, Desert Rose, look at this. Silva Yell, hi, me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't start, Brenda. Hi, Joey. Okay. <clears throat> I mean... That's a, that's a pretty big pot pie, but like for her, that's amateur hour. That's not that bad. It's yeah, it's a bit it's a big pot pie. It's definitely a big pot pie. There's no way that I could eat all of that in one sitting. Um, that could probably feed two adults. But I mean, we we have seen Chantal take down. Uh, I, I mean, she has taken down a pot pie that two men could not shake hands over. So this is, this is, this is amateur hour. She definitely got something in addition to the pot pie. Pot pies are not that good. I like chicken pot pie. You don't like pot pie? Oh gosh. One of the best pot pies that I ever had was a chain restaurant in Arizona called Claim Jumper. Oh, oh. Costco makes a pretty good pot pie, too. Is that the family size? It didn't look family size. I mean, it's big, but family size? Eh, I don't know about that. She has a backup sandwich. Oh, she definitely has fries. She Well, she said that she was going to get the pot pie, the side, the side of chicken tenders, and I'd imagine she got fries, too. I've never, I've never had St. Hubert's. Is that a Canada thing? Um, Carissa Marshall, really appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. Have you ever thought of being a therapist? I feel like you would be good at it. Um, the thing about that, yes, I have actually. But the thing about traditional, like, cognitive behavioral therapy is... I feel like there's a lot of things that I would want to tell people and help them that you wouldn't be allowed to professionally. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Just like any therapist that I've ever talked to in the past, they do it like very by the book. And like, I, I understand, like you have to do it that way because, you know, they have to be uh, liable for anything that might happen. So I, I don't really, I don't know if I would like being a watered down version of myself that had to play by the rules. I kind of just like to say what's on my mind. That doesn't stop some therapists. Yeah, I guess. As someone who has worked in psychiatry, there's a very fine line with it all. I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. You would make me cry. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I would make you cry. <laughs> um, what am I going <laughs> to... Give me two forks. Probably think that it's going to be for two people. It, no, it's one pot pie. Hi, Z. Hey, Anastasia. Okay, what are we going to eat first? Some fry and gravy? Okay, let's have some frying gravy. Oh, she did get fries. Hi, Sabrick. Joke's on them. Rosemary's. Oh, not just fries. Gravy. Gravy to dip the fries into. Okay. I want to see the chicken tenders. You think she got the chicken tenders too? I don't have any lights in here, hardly. You ready to pop high? No. No, because I have to take medications and I need to drink water because of my diabetes. It's too hard. There's somebody coming. You're not required to fast if you have medical reasons. And you're like, 
just an excuse, whatever. It's not. I mean, it is, yeah. But it's a valid one, you know? <laughs> I did at the beginning fast, yeah. But my health is different now. From last Ramadan to this one, <gasps> all a lot worse. I'm on medications now. I wasn't before. The geese. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, yeah, Lou. Uh-huh. <clears throat> like the wise guys traveling through the desert? What? <laughs> Has she ever choked in a video or on a live with the way that she eats? Chantal does inhale her food. I mean, it's it sometimes seems like the food does not even touch her teeth before going down her esophagus sometimes. There is a video. You know what? Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I believe she's eating noodles or like spaghetti or something, and she does choke. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Your husband's type too? This is so good. This gravy from... Uh... Our queen is back in Canada. We miss Juliana. I know, Wama Tene. Me too. I really do. I'll be seeing her soon. I mean, I'll see her again soon, inshallah. Like, well... One day. I feel like like I have two two homes, two families. It's weird. The clam 18 plus and Lauren B. Hello. Are we getting sand back? Yeah, we are, Aisha. Hi, Energy Egg. No, I should not put 10. Hi, Graf. Okay, I found it. We can watch it real quick. It's like right around here. She's eating these like noodles and then she chokes. It's not a very long clip. It would just be like one line, like, I hate Natter. Yeah, it's only like two seconds. <laughs> She's like crying too for some reason. Mm. <laughs> okay. It's just frying gravy. Oh, Chris, you would have liked the plane incident. Doing a live stream for the eclipse Monday in court. Monday in court. What the eclipse? Really? Mm, no, I'll drive up to the country. You got chased by geese? Actually, she's probably in a good path for the eclipse. Yeah, because like Cornwall is kind of like diagonal from Erie, Pennsylvania, if I'm thinking correctly. She's probably in a good spot for the eclipse. I don't have a computer. Maybe Chantal is the eclipse. Oh. <gasps> Mean. Mean. <laughs> Bad. Just let her eat her fucking pot pie, Jordy. Lay off. <laughs> Sam's neck beard. <laughs> You're such a basement dweller, Sam. You're such a basement dweller. I can't wait to yell at him again. But cutely. The only thing I'm missing and there's a stain on my heart is for... <laughs> my pet I don't feel right like I feel weird I have to go home <laughs> I feel like I've like been living that life too long now I miss that oh <gasps> no I forgot my Nashville chicken tenders those mother oh my god <laughs> She almost called them mother effers because they forgot her chicken tenders. Wear wearing a hijab, calling fast food employees mother effers. <laughs> oh my god. So the fries, gravy, and large pot pie were not enough. Okay. We 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 needed those chicken tenders. 
Oh my god. I'm just waiting for the Incredible Hulk moment. You're gonna make me angry. And you would like me when I'm angry. Good lord. Oh, Nicole Garrett, thank you so much for that. She's high and seems to be getting drunk. Her face has been red and she is all over the place. Maybe there's vodka in the cup? Mm. Interesting. You think she's having an Alicia Dougherty moment? Her own White Claw era? Interesting theory, Nicole. Thank you so much for the super chat. Coleslaw. Now I'm gonna starve. Yeah, that scene from Pat. Uh, that scene of Patrick from uh, that one episode of SpongeBob. You took my chocolate bar. Now I'm gonna starve. Imagine getting cussed out by a woman wearing a hijab. <laughs> Chantal walks into this fast food restaurant and starts waving her finger in the air. You mother effer forgot my chicken tenders, you son of a bitch. Like face beat red. Cosplaying heat miser. Jordy, are you wearing a bathrobe? No, this is a blanket. I ordered... I ordered two Nashville chicken tenders. <laughs> to go in my pot pie. Oh, I can't stand that. I hate when they get the order wrong. Hopefully you can vlog a Palestine rally. Wamatene. Oh yeah, they have them, eh? Or... Do you think that they did remember her chicken tenders and she's not eating them on camera... So that she's going to eat it later. Like maybe she's trying to make herself look dainty. You know? Like, oh, they forgot my food. Dang it. Ugh. Really wanted those. But then as soon as this video is over, like inhales both of them at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. Chicken tenders go in the pie. Uh, I mean, not usually, but I think that what she wanted to do is she wanted to, like, cut up the chicken tenders into, like, bite sizes and throw them into the chicken pot pie to have more chicken on top of the chicken that came with the chicken pot pie. So, yeah. More. She, she just wanted more. More! Where would she ever be considered dainty? Jupiter? Thank you for the super chat. Maybe. Yeah. The Nashies. No, I didn't get Chinese. But I had a big lunch, though. <laughs> I have to, like, go on a dog. I don't want <laughs> I know it's not Kuwait that was the problem. I was boring in Kuwait. I'm not, I wasn't physically well. I'm not. As opposed to now, where you are physically well, or prior to you going to Kuwait two years ago when you were physically well? <laughs> so she thinks because she flew back to Canada ate a pot pie and fries and gravy. Now, I don't know, the health is on the rebound. Well, back in Kuwait, I just wasn't doing well with my health. <laughs> uh, the chewing. <sighs> An appetizer crammed into a dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh. Because of all the health issues I incurred on myself. Or else I could have done a lot more. I know, Lama Tini, it's really sad. Yep, I know. 
Susie, I'm still I'm looking for a place now. <sighs> Smooth and moves. Decorating my new place. I'm going to Goodwill. <laughs> Honestly, first thing, I'm just going to order a bed and have like a really nice bed. I'm just bed rot when I'm at home. Because, like, oh my god. I want to get my health on track, but as soon as I get my new place and get a big bed, all I want to do is bed rot at home. Oh my god. Uh... Her chewing could be used as a torture technique. Yeah, I mean, forget waterboarding. Just pull up a video of this. She should get into competitive eating. You know, competitive eaters, I mean, not all of them, but competitive eaters, like back in the day when I used to watch like the hot dog stuff with like, uh, Kobayashi and uh, the, the jo jo what was his name, Johnny Chestnut, him. Like, they're all thin. And, like, to, to be a good competitive eater, like, you got to be quick, you know? Like, I mean, these arms ain't moving too quick. What's that Megan Trainer song, Hips Are Moving? My hips are moving and it's na, 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 na. These arms aren't moving. No, they're not. Well, not, not very fast, anyway. Bed rot should not be used as a positive verb. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> oh, God. Joey Chestnut. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his name. wonder if he still does that. Is she homeless? No, I, I'm almost positive she's staying with family. Megan No Trainer. <laughs> Y'all are bad. <laughs> Megan, I have never heard that before. <laughs> oh my god. I I saw an article recently about um apparently Megan Trainer's a piece of shit. Apparently she's really nasty and hard to work with and stuff. I was surprised to find out that she married that spy kid. When I saw that I was kind of like, "Huh, this is an interesting pairing." I don't need all kinds of furniture. I just need a bed and a chair for the kitchen. <laughs> so I'll just get those things. Hey, Ghostface. <laughs> exactly, Rosemary's. <clears throat> How are you going to forget my Nashville tenders, however? I'm going to go back there. There's a bubble-headed bleach blonde comes on at five. She can tell you about the plane crash with a gleam in her eye. It's interesting when people die. They love dirty laundry. Kick them when they're up. Kick them when they're down. Hi, MJ. I'm planning on staying in Canada. But I'm hurt. Yes, he fits happy belated. Thank you. Hi, babe. Babe, they forgot my chicken tenders. <laughs> the chicky stew. Hey, meep. I know it's dark, but my lights in here suck. Yeah, I think that she did just drink the gravy. Yeah. It's like why 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 feign looking dainty when I can get more gravy in by drinking it. Ava, I really appreciate the super chat. Thank you, Ava. Jordy, all I wanted to do was drink my wine and learn about this woman. 
Then you show a nightmare edit of her. I suddenly sobered up. I still love you, though. Oh, the noodle video? The noodle video is uh, a famous little clip in Chantopolis. You would have seen that sooner or later if you watch enough Chantal content. Thank you, th uh, thank you so much, though, Ava, even though I ruined your evening. She has been drinking it several times. <laughs> drinking gravy with a pinky up is dainty. Maybe if I, like, next stream, what I could do with all of my little slushy things is, like, whenever I go to suck it in, pinky up. What do you think? Oh. That'll take a little practice. <laughs> Maui. Oh, sorry, Sue, while you're going through a separation. Hang in there. Don Henley. I make my living off the evening news. Just give me something, something I can use. People love it when you lose. They love dirty laundry. Isn't that so true? <laughs> Howie, Julia, don't make me feel worse. I already feel heartbroken that I have to leave them. Trust me. This is so good. I can't stop eating. I want to get healthy. <laughs> the gravy ball. Do you know how easy it is to say that while you're eating something delicious? Oh yeah, I'm going to get... <laughs> this will satisfy me for life. I'm not going to eat any more junk. <laughs> Babe. Yeah. How's Julia and Howie? What? Oh, Cheryl. I got pot pie, fries, gravy, and chicken tenders, but they forgot them. So I'm going back. And be like, what the heck, man? Thank you, Trim. It's more complicated for him to come here than me to go there. I know. Saying I want to get healthy while drinking gravy. Like, mid-sip of gravy. Well, let's be real. Mid-gulp of gravy. I want to get healthy. You sure about that? Maybe bring a ring light or something? <laughs> uh, it's an excuse to go back for another pot pie. Yeah, maybe what she does is if she ha if she doesn't have the tenders, what she could do is after this, she could go back to the restaurant, say, oh, my God, you guys forgot my chicken tenders. And then say, oh, and by the way, since I'm here, can I get a number three combo, another order of fries? She's going back for the tendies. I, I bet I bet that she would. She's gonna have her car meal and then she's gonna get a meal to take home. Um Slurping Sloop. Oh my god. S sorry. Slurping soup. Thank you for the super chat. Super chats. Oh, there's two. A total eclipse of the fart. Oh, the Bonnie Tyre Tyler remix we never knew we needed. Maybe we could get in touch with Bonnie Tyler and she could sing a remix for us. A total eclipse of the fart. Or maybe I could write that. You know, like how I did Amber Lindro. I could write total eclipse of the fart. You know, actually, what I was thinking about doing for another song? 
You know that old song? It's probably from like the 50s where it's like lollipop, 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 lollipop. You know that song? I was thinking a girl world remix. Girly pop, girly pop, girly, 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 girly pop, girly, mm, mm, girly pop. A new hit incoming. Yeah, maybe, maybe on my new album I could do girly pop and a total eclipse of the fart. Jordy, do you need sleep? Not at this moment. Oh, thank you, CC Max. That's sweet of you. <laughs> there, but. I don't know. That is my family there. <laughs> A lot. You know what it feels like? That I've moved on from my life here and now I'm like, it's not the same as before. I don't know, I'm just sad. So cheer me up! I'm just joking. The heat is bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm eating St. Hubert's teardrop. Coleslaw, fries and gravy, and chicken Popeye. Why come back? I feel torn between both worlds. I wish I could live in both when I feel like it, you know? I thought I knew what love was. What did I know? Those days are gone forever. I should just let them go. But I love Don Henley. As you can see. Who else does? Hmm? Hi, Fanny. The sun is setting. I don't watch Bridgerton. I didn't like it. I tried. Anyway, guys. <laughs> she feels torn between both worlds. I was thinking the same thing. I mean, what? Oh, part of me wants to eat takeout in a room in Kuwait. And part of me wants to eat takeout in a room in Canada. She thinks that this is like some quirky little lost in translation moment. Some like little like bariatric lost in translation remix. This is so stupid. I feel torn between both worlds. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Jordy's at the dentist. <laughs> oh my god. Open wide. Jordy, give us a sign of life. <laughs> uh... Sorry, I'm like literally picking out. Thanks, your drop. It's one of the best places around. There's St. Hubert's in Ottawa, Gatineau, Cornwall. There's one everywhere, but it's like a Canadian chain. Thanks, Farts and Charts. Babe, do you miss me? Do you ever feel like you need extra reassurance sometimes? Hi, Melly! Chicken Popeye. In my car. This is sad. Did you hear about Miss Hussey? Wama tonight? No, what happened? And deal. I'm not gonna say Zoe. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Stink out your car. Yeah, I feel like a pig right now. Suing for 300k? You really think that? Well, 
I don't know anymore. I, I really don't know. I have an opinion on that. Plus, there is two. <laughs> He was being too indecisive all the time. Thank you, Yeti. Mm -hmm. I hate it so much. <sighs> Sam and Julia babies. <clears throat> Sam has no balls. Yeah, it did get dark quickly. I mean, she first started the video like this. Oh, wow. This is a lovely screenshot. We're witnessing the Chantal eclipse. I mean, seriously, from the beginning of the video to like 15 minutes later, it, it really is like an eclipse. It's dark AF. Let's see like the end of the video. Whoa. Holy shit. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> she starts crying at some point. Really? I forgot my dashies. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's right here. Because she's talking about how they forgot her chicken tenders. Maybe that's why she starts crying. Girl, if you need to borrow the Belgian waffle candle for some light, you can. Just let me know. I'm only like a six hour drive from Cornwall. Because she's still eating. What what is this? Is this mac and cheese? Hey, babe. Oh no, guys. When I have a place, we can do what we want. But I miss you when you're gone. Gravy. Oh, here goes another dr uh, drink of gravy. Sh did she get a drink? I don't think she got a drink. I don't think she's taken a drink the whole time that she's been eating this. I think that the drink is gravy. Seriously, I, I, I haven't seen a drink yet. I mean, if she got a combo, or maybe she must have just bought the individual item. She didn't get a combo. She has a strawberry lemonade from Wendy's. I haven't seen that the whole video. I've just seen her drinking gravy. You know? She finishes the gravy. I would be surprised if she doesn't take her finger and like rim the edge of the cup so she can get all of it out. Um, Boop girl. Thank you so much for the super chat. One, either she'll stay with Pete's or two. Oh, sorry. One, she'll stay with Pete's. Two, she always drinks gravy like that. Three, who told her she can sing? Four, she eats like a two-year-old. And five, I love you, Jordy. <laughs> the five truths of Shantopolis. I love it, Boop Girl. Thank you. She's taking two sips of water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When she took the pain pill. Okay, I do remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she took the pain pill from just sitting here and she was in pain from just sitting. Okay, I do remember that. I haven't seen the Wendy's lemonade, though, that you guys are talking about. I don't remember that. I've only seen her drink gravy. Yeah, I don't know. The, the Wendy's lemonade is rare. I, I haven't seen the shot of that. I mean, maybe if you guys saw it, but it's like, I don't know, like a rare trading card or something. I haven't seen it. Is that in the next live? Yeah, are you guys can are you guys confusing lives because th she's done three lives since she's been back in Canada. She did the first one that we've already watched. This is later that evening 
when she went and got food. And then there's one from today. Thanks, Liz. It does feel good to drive it. There's somebody. What if they catch me drinking gravy? That's embarrassing. <laughs> Must be the season of the witch. <gasps> it's the season of the sandwich. Zing. That was kind of funny. Not like ha ha belly laugh funny, but it was cute. Madonna bees. <laughs> gravy bees in, gravy bees in. <laughs> I don't know why you guys thought I was like super miserable there. I wasn't super miserable. Like, I can't explain it. There's things I miss about both places, so. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I, I can't explain it, you know. When's the eclipse? Good night, no name. Thanks for being here. And thanks for the memberships and everything. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. I don't you know what? Dinner. I have something to say. So therefore, I'm going to pause the video, turn my microphone on, and speak. No name. Hold on. Does it show the chat? No, it doesn't. Okay. That person, no name, I remember their uh, profile photo. It's like a black profile photo with like geometric lines going across it. No name used to come in here and send me super chats. Like they, no name has probably given me like 60 or $70. And like, uh, this, this was like two, three months ago. And then I noticed that no name went over to uh, her chat and started giving her money. You, you remember? You guys remember No Name? No Name come, came in here and was like watching the streams and stuff and sending me super chats. I, I'm pretty sure that No Name has sent uh, other reaction channel super chats too. Someone with the username No Name has been in here on Twitch. I don't remember if they were ever a Twitch member, but I remember they sent me super chats. That's interesting. That's interesting. Traitor. <laughs> I remember no name. Mm-hmm. I do too. They would they didn't hang out here for very long. They didn't hang out here for very long. It was only like maybe two or three streams. But in those two and three streams, they sent a quite a bit of money to me. I seemed bored. Yeah, I mean, that's my fault, you know? But the summer there, I can't really do much. It just feels weird to me. Like, for the past year and a half, I was always sleeping. Like, I always had, like, I had my family there in, like, Kuwait and, like, you know, have my routine, have my spot on the bed where I always lay, like a seal. Her family. Babe, imagine being broke, but you can afford the expensive trip to Canada. Her family. Did you hear that? She has her family in Kuwait. <laughs> the, the stray cat, a hamster, and some scammer from Tinder. My family's there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it is expensive. I didn't go out in the winter either, no. <sighs> Drive by the Villa Bees? I 
I got St. Hubert's and I wish I didn't. Thank you. I, I love Pennington's here. <laughs> Every time I go to Kuwait, I miss Pennington's. Just stay in Canada for the summer months. And it's like, <clears throat> if I live in Kuwait, I'm without Sam. If I live in Canada, I'm without Julia. Oh, oh my God. Well, if I live in Kuwait, I won't have Sam. Girl, you gave up Sam like it was nothing. You were going to kill the other cat like you didn't even give a shit. Oh, well, if I live in Kuwait, then I won't. You haven't been with Sam in like uh, over a year now. <laughs> you don't miss Sam. Ugh, BS, BS. <sighs> the car battery is going to be dead. She has been idling for a while. I don't know. The idea of Chantal sitting in a pitch black parking lot with fast food is kind of eerie. I don't know. Would it, would it feel like you were just like a kid, like walking home or I don't know, like just someone taking a walk or something and you come across this idle car with Chantal in it with fast food talking to herself. That, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty spooky. Jordy, you'll need to drink a gravy slushy to get no name back. I know. How can we get no name back on uh, our our team? <laughs> oh my god! I'd call the police. I have seen like some interesting figures, like, and I I have called the police time to time. Like there, there was like one time I was driving down like a, a road and like this guy like didn't have a shirt on, didn't have any shoes on. And I mean, he looked like he was like tweaked out of his mind. And I said, oh, hey, you know, by the way, down this road, there's a guy that might need some help. Does Jordy acknowledge super chats? He does. Um, just not like lickety split. That's a terrifying thought. It It is spooky. It is spooky. I mean, could you just see, like, the light of a cell phone illuminating this Thomas the Train face and you walk past this car and see this? I mean, that that would be something. That would be something. Mary, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Hope you're doing well this evening, Miss Mary. Jordy, if I see you at Pop Baby, I better get your autograph. And Chantal's a wench. Mary, do you live in Pittsburgh? I don't remember you ever saying that in the past. Going to Pop Baby. Oh, yeah, what do we have? We have like 20-some 20, 20 days until the Pop Baby concert. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't wait. I can't wait. The Pop Baby concert. Oh, gosh. Um... Additionally, Alexandria Pearson, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Would you please give a shout out to my husband, Matt? He watches every single video you post. Shout out to Matt watching every single video I throw up. You really like me that much? Huh. You better watch your back, Alexandria. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just putting that out there. Just saying. <laughs> thank you so much, Matt and Alexandria. I really appreciate the donation. Pop Baby Stream Countdown. I think it's on the 26th. I have a concert on the 13th and then the Pop Baby one. Okay, the Pop Baby concert's on Friday, April 26th. Okay. Yeah, I have two, I have two concerts this month. Two. I have Owl City. I'm going to go sing Fireflies. And then I have Pop Baby. I think I'm going to wear the, uh, the, the Jeffrey wig to Pop Baby. Live stream the Pop Baby concert. <laughs> we'll see. That's just weird, and I'm without Salah. Like, that's just weird for me. No, I'm I'm supposed to stay in Canada. Like I can't change everything. I'm already very deep into this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I wasn't listening that closely. I want to hear that again. Weird, and I'm without Salah. Like, it's just weird for me. 
No, I'm I'm supposed to stay in Canada. Like I can't change everything. I'm already very deep into this. Mm. <laughs> Wait, you're deep I into just... what? You're deep into what? Trying to get him citizenship? Did anyone did anyone hear that? No, I'm too far deep into this already. I'm supposed to be in Canada. Like I'm supposed to be in Canada so that I can work on hosting him in Canada? Is that what she's saying? What did she mean by that? Huh. Now she cries after she's full. I'm too far into it. You think that she was referring to the pot pie? She was too far into eating the pot pie already. <laughs> my husband, my cat, or my owie, maybe. I'm kidding. It's hard to have pets when traveling, you know. Singing a lullaby. <sighs> Miss you more. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah, true, Joey. I try, you know. I don't know, Cynthia. It's gonna be hard, yeah, at first, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm safe here. Don't say that. Why are people trying to like, you know, dictate if I should be married or not? It's my life to live, you know? I don't know. It's normal to miss the, my husband. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, God forbid people tell you to make better decisions, Chantal. It's my life. If I want to fuck it up, I will. What are you coming in here telling me I should be doing things different? You see how well my life is going for myself right now. Obviously, I know what decisions to make for myself. It's my life. <laughs> uh, I feel the mood crashing. I think the gravy high has worn off. I think that she downed that pot pie, downed the gravy down the coleslaw, down the fries. And now she's kind of like upset that the moment has passed. This is dark. It is dark. Look at the background. <laughs> hmm. People don't like Salah. I don't even know if her own supporters like Salah. Like the her Beezers or her mem. I, I don't. I actually don't even know if she still has members. I never watch these streams live. I don't know if she still has memberships, but I don't think that those people like him. Uh, I don't know if they ever liked him, but they certainly probably don't like him after what happened with uh, the poop. We need those tender stats. <laughs> oh my god it's like getting anti-venom after a snake bite we need those tender stat did y'all know that uh, anti-venom is actually really expensive this is my motivation to eat well a lot of people view Chantal and Amber Lynn like that. As like, okay, this is the worst possible scenario I could be in. So let me work toward not being this. <sighs> Do you like Salah? I don't know. He's, he's just scamming her. That's, that's all he's doing. He's just scamming her. I think that he's pompous. I think that he scams her. I just, I, I don't think that the guy has many good qualities. Yeah. Sorry, guys, my life is so, like, back and forth. I know it's hard to follow, but, like, 
Anyway, it does cause conflict in my heart a lot. And now I'm depressed and I just want to sleep. Or go for a long drive and just think about stuff. I can't wait to see your new place. Did you hear my stomach? I gotta go get my missing tenders. I'm not going, I'm not gonna go in there and be like, I'm missing my tenders. I don't yeah, even you... know if I have my receipt. Oh yeah, I do. I'm not just gonna go back to the restaurant and tell them that they forgot my chicken tenders. Girl, yes you would. What? <laughs> what? I don't like his eyebrow lift. <laughs> Yes, out of everything to dislike about Sala, I would probably put the eyebrow at the top of the chart. <laughs> I think I can only raise one of my eyebrows. Can most people only do one, or is it, like, common for people to... I... Oh, here, let me just pull it up. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Like, I can't move this muscle on my own. I can do this. I can't do the other one. You think I could train myself to do it? I, I don't know. I can only do both. Oh, like this? So maybe I should feel fortunate that I can do one. You know, because there's some of you that can't do any. So I guess if you can do both like that, you're like special. You know, practice makes perfect. I can only do my right brow. Well, this would be... No, this would be my left brow. I'm like looking at a reflected version of myself. So it's like, what brow is this? I can only do my left one. I can't do my right one. <sighs> All right, y'all. I think that that is going to be it for today, unfortunately. Um, I know that we didn't do both of these streams, but maybe we'll be back tomorrow for this. More foodie tomorrow. We have... Um, a whole other stream to take a look at too. We have the Jamaican chicken patties. So maybe we could watch like the last 10 minutes of this. Maybe we'll start with this. And then if we finish this, or if this is too boring, we'll go back and finish what we didn't. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan? Why don't you save VODs? Uh, the VOD is up on YouTube. I, I dual stream to both Twitch and YouTube. So it's up on YouTube if you want to go back and watch it. Um, but that is going to be it. Really appreciate you all hanging out. All the bit senders, all of the super chatters, all of the subscriptioners. Really appreciate everybody. Uh, I will see y'all soon. Life is too short to not go back and get the chicken tenders that you paid for.